these ideas have been living rent-free in my head for a long time. The many ways that colonial mental health, wellness, self-help culture shows up in our society <laughs> is through the framework of control, power, and domination. And helping combat racial, racist, racism. The way that that looks like is using verbiage like we just need to be able to control our thoughts, our It's like, no! It's like, really? It's like, it's comical! This idea that you need to force yourself into a state of discomfort in order to regulate your emotions. Colin, circa 1922, from the Gulags, one of my favorite quotes. Buford, you listening? Now get this. That's when the subcommittee had to reallocate the funds and tension of policing, of coloniality, of systems of oppression that are at play. I have dreamed white people will just sit down and shut up. You are fake news, sir. Go ahead, you say pattern. He's not playing 17 dimensional chess. He's just eating the pieces. That throw me out. Nah, 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 nah. Right? He has no real intellect. His intellect is reptilian in a sense. He, he's like a... Uh, he's a five-year-old. Okay? Um, except with the in, in, except intellectually more challenged than most five-year-olds. You know? That's what he's, what he's doing. There is no strategy. He's a, he's a psychopath. You're a white man. Harrison, born Antoine Smalls, has transracial identity, identifying as Harrison Booth, a 35-year-old white man from Colorado. That boy's cornbread ain't all the way done in the middle of something. And then it just hit me. I'm white. And 35. You lie like a rug. I just miss Colorado sometimes. You know, here I pretend the buildings are the old San Juan mountain range. But, you know, the job's just here. And where do you work? I'm a systems engineer for Coca-Cola. Oh. Okay. That boy don't work. He go to school and that's it. Mm -hmm. One day he said, call me Harrison. I said, who's that? He said me. Do you believe that he is a white man? I mean, he isn't. Is it just time? I can be an empowered, you know, independent working woman with a career and still acknowledge the fact that men have built civilization. Isn't it just time for women to run the planet? I'm a man who discovered the wheel and built the Eiffel Tower out of metal and brawn. I'm not just trying to placate you, I swear. We're just here for the chicks. There are no boundaries to the love that we can generate. Please, can you guys just take over? Somebody said, I'm a woman and I wouldn't want the planet run by us. It doesn't mean that women are less than at all. It means that we have different strengths. We bring different things to society and relationships, but we can't ignore history and ignore the fact that our world has been built on the back of hardworking men. I felt the feminism leaving my body. Boy, that escalated quickly. I you are you. Hi there, you must be new to my account. I say white to remind people that white supremacy is everywhere. You, my friend, are a racist. And maybe next time when you're about to do the very same thing, my annoying white will ring in your ear and stop you. So, you're welcome. See that? That's how you do it. You call them a racist and they got nowhere to go. Well, I'm not a I you are fake. To, to, to the Millennials, to the Generation Z, an uplifting life advice song. It's called Fuck Your Feelings. We went from several generations of hardworking Americans to a bunch of young fucking wussies. Who live at home with their moms until they're fucking 31 and can't take a punch because they're pussies. Can't make them get a job even though they're all in debt And they'll lecture you about being politically correct They're crying and whining, it's gotten pretty scary So here's a song for all the fucking fairies 
fuck your feelings. No one gives a fuck about your issues, your problems, your shitty fucking luck. This generation's fucked. We're a bunch of fucking weaklings. So wipe your tears and fuck your fucking feelings. Go ahead, you say.